Hi, uh, welcome back to our channel. So uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to uh, discuss uh, how to start a pig farm, specifically in Ghana, because that's where I'm from. So uh, I'm going to give in, be giving prices and you know what to expect whenever you're starting a pig farm in Ghana. You know, because I've I've have uh, I've had a little a like, few people ask me about it, like how much it will cost to build a structure, how much the land will cost, and all of that. Yeah, so uh, in this video, I'm going to be uh, talking about the cost, what to expect, you know, because there are so many things that goes into it. It takes and it takes time to uh, set up a farm, like like a modern farm or something close to it. You know, uh, so I I will start talking about these things, like maybe poultry farm, and uh, with this one is going to be about a pig farm. Then the next one we're probably going to do about plant like tomatoes and other things. So uh, let's so let's get on it. So to start the farm like a pottery like a pig farm, what you need first is the land. You know, obviously. Yeah. So after you get your land, you know, then these that I'm about to talk about is what you need to expect. You know, the land costs differ from places to places in Ghana. So. The places that you can get a cheaper land are in the villages. If you get closer to the city, the more closer you get to the city, the more expensive your your land is going to be. So, and the location will also determine like the the prices of your pigs. Like if you have to sell them, whenever it gets to time for you to sell them, you know. Yeah. So, let's say you're trying to build a pig farm about the size of. Uh, 50 by 150 which will be pretty good size to keep a lot of pigs in there you know after you build them you divide it so here are some of the costs that you should expect you know and prices of things always but like they fluctuate a lot you know so i'm going to be basing all of these on my experience and how i did mine so on the pig farm before we started, we, we got the land, but whenever you get into build the structure part, that's when all the money comes in, you know, because it's going to cost probably because the money has changed. But anywhere between $15,000 to about $20,000, to get that structure done, like 50 by 150 structure, you know, to get your your roof, you know, the mason work, the carpenter job, you know, the 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 plumbing work, you know, getting light in there for the piece, getting the water, uh, the water lines fixed and all that, you probably spend about that much. Anywhere from fifteen thousand to about twenty thousand dollars, but I'm not saying that that is the only way to do. It. You can all you can always use local staff to do your farm. You know, like I always prefer that. I always advise people to start small if you want to. You know, start with like a bamboo. Those things you can do that. You know, then gradually you build up. You know, because. Uh, once you get once you get the land, let's say you figure out you put your building on it, there's always going to be the other cost too that you have to consider. You know, buying the pigs to put in there. You know, on my side, I started with ten pregnant pigs. So ten pregnant pigs, they are very expensive compared to buying a piglet. You know, or maybe buying a just a, a female pig, a pig without is not pregnant. You know, so I bought my pigs for close to about $300, $300 each. They were all pregnant. And they were about to be delivered before they, I received them. So the person that I bought it from kept the pigs for about two and a half months before he sent them to me like they had about one when i got them they were they had about two weeks to about maybe like a week or so before they gave birth to all the piglets so 
he fed the pigs and he did everything. Then all I did was just go and get them and then we just watched them for about two weeks, feed them and then they delivered. Even after you get the pigs to, you know, then there comes in the vaccine. You have to consider vaccination. You know, you have to consider the the people going to work over there. You have to feed, you know, like, you see that you're going to have to uh, find a structure for them to live in on the farm, which which means you have to build something on the farm for them to live in, you know. And uh, you know, something like b- the building a structure for somebody to live in, let's say like two rooms will be enough. But, you know, let's say you want to visit over there and you want to be over there to like at least spend some nights over there. You will need another room. So I would prefer like maybe three to four rooms on the farm. You know, I mean, you can build a farm and forget about it, like, and just get people living in the the village to go from their houses and go and watch them all the time. But if you leave your farm unattended for a specific time, people might go and steal all the pigs. You know, so it's better. My advice is it's better to get a house on the farm for people to live over there. Then you don't have to worry about theft, you know. Because after you spend all that money building and getting the pigs in, then somebody comes in because there's nobody around and steal them all. But if they know that there are people living over there, nobody is going to bother to come around. Yeah. So those are some of the things, you know, that you have to consider whenever you're trying to start a pig farm. And the other thing is, you know, you have to look at the market, you know, like if it's going to be good enough for you. You know, because pig prices differ from country to country. You know, because uh, uh, even in Ghana, the prices of pigs kind of differ from one one uh, city to city. You know, and uh, also you have to consider the feed. You know, because you have to feed the pigs. For them, and you have to feed them quality food so that they can grow faster and healthy so that you can make more money from them. Because whenever you get pigs, you have to make sure that those pigs, like especially piglets, you have to make sure that within like about five to six months, those ones that you have to sell will be ready to sell. Otherwise, you spend a lot of money feeding the pigs for a very long time. That's why it's good to have a balanced diet for them. You know, so you have to put all of these into consideration. And the feed cost, you know, like a thousand tons of feed in Ghana right now ranges from about a thousand Ghana to about 1,500 Ghana, Ghana cities. So in dollars, I'll probably say maybe about, I don't know, $250. I'll have to double check that. You know, and the a thousand tons of feed will probably feed about maybe a hundred pigs for about a month. If you have the balanced diet, like I'm saying, if you have a balanced diet. Because after you get the, let's say the corn and the maize bran and all that, you have to add in like uh, proteins and other stuff like soya beans or concentrate, whatever you have to add to it to make it a balanced diet. So you have to consider all of that. And, you know, somebody might, might ask like, so how much can I make from doing a uh, pig farm? So if you want to start a pig farm, don't expect to get money within <laughs> within a year, like to get any profit, you know. Unless you are starting with a large quantity of pigs, you know, maybe you buy like maybe uh, 200 pigs right off the back, then fine, that you can make money within a year. But if you're starting small, like with like my like 10 pigs, uh, pregnant ones, you know, you have to feed them and build your, like the, the quantity of your pigs. You know, because they have to give birth and the ones that they give birth to, they have to give birth to, you know. Because after the first year, you probably start looking to sell some of them. You know, so my 
secret or what I do is whenever my peers they give birth, you know, we try we try as much as possible to make sure that the other male will be ready to sell after six months. You know, but then again, as in, in anything, there's always going to be something that comes up that you did not expect, you know. And I, like myself, I, I learn as, as I go, you know, because you learn something new every day. So most of the times, like, whenever somebody asks me that they want to start a pig farm, I give them my advice, like things, like things from my perspective and the things that are, like the troubles or those things that I went through so that they don't repeat my mistakes. You know, so yeah, so if you're trying to be to make money off of pigs, just put it in your mind that maybe in about a year or two before you start making profit from it. But there's another option to this pig farming thing that I've seen that most people don't do, especially in Ghana. So instead of buying pregnant pigs and all of that to raise them, you can actually go around and buy piglets. You know, just buy piglets from people, then bring them to your farm, feed them, and after six months, make sure they will be ready for the market, then you sell them all off, then you repeat again. You know, so obviously this, you have to also like build the structure and everything for them. But then there's also another option for free range if you can manage the diseases and all of those things, you know, on the free range. You know, if you learn more about it, I'm pretty sure anybody can do it, but you just have to be, pay attention to it so that your pigs don't go and con like be infected by any, with any diseases that you, you don't want. Mm. And uh, the other thing too is, uh, if you are going to do this pig farming, you know, you, you have to consider the water source. That is one thing that I think, uh, even myself, I didn't consider that much because pigs drinks a lot of water. So we had to do two boreholes over there before we were able to provide enough water for the pigs. You know, after the boreholes, you probably need a tank for storage to, to get the water to the pigs, their pen. So basically, you can't just get up one day and just say that, oh, I'm going to do a pig farm without doing any research. You have to, because otherwise you will run into trouble down the way, like down the road. See, so before you start, just make sure you have all your finances in place. You know, research about the, 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 the kind of pigs that you want, because there are different, different breeds of pigs. You know, some of them grow very fast, others grow very, very slow or those that grow slow, they might give you more piglet. It's kind of different. There's different pig, pigs to choose, to choose from. It's up to you, anybody. Like you just have to go and do your own research and figure out which one you want to. So coming back to the cost aspect of it, I'm just going to summarize it. So you can either build a modern structure for your pigs, which will cost you a lot of money, about anywhere from 15000 to about $20,000, which I'll probably say about a hundred and a hundred and forty thousand Ghana city, right about there, maybe like a hundred thousand Ghana to about 140 Ghana, 40,000 Ghana will do. But if you want to use the local materials, like bamboos, like a raffia, like uh, any trees, anything that you can find over, over there, you can do that and start slowly. You know, those ones will cost less. You just have to figure out how to, like, plan, plan how to make it fit how you want it. Yeah. And uh, the other thing, too, that uh, people might ask is maybe the... the uh, how like how much you pay the people working over there that is up to you you will decide you know and then again if you don't pay your workers right they might just go and find a, a different job somewhere so just you just have to pay them right so that they will stick around because you don't want to train somebody 
on the farm and then they go and find a different job somewhere after like you train them. You know, then you just wasted your time. So, so these are the things that I, I will consider whenever you are starting the pig farm. You know, obviously there's going to be challenges like as it is in every any business. You know, something might creep up that you did not expect. So that's why you always have to do your research and also ask people who are doing the, the kind of farm that you want to do, you know. Then just learn from them. Then you just go on and do your and do your farm. So if anybody has any question, you can ask me and I will give you a I will give you some tips on it. You know, even locations and if you want to get a land, all those things. Different places have different prices for the land, for farmland. So in the next video, I'm probably going to be talking about uh, a poultry farm too. And uh, in the other video, the next, uh, the video after that, it's probably going to be about crop farming. You know, because all those, I think I have basically done all these three before. So I kind of know what to expect. You know, and also I know what not to do so that you don't go into trouble or into debt and all those things, you know. Because, for instance, for the pig farm, if you are buying the pregnant pigs, you know, you're going to have to feed them, buy feed for about a year before you will start making money off of it. So you have to consider all of that, the feed costs and all of those things. You know, because it, it's not just it's just not a overnight and you make profit. In poultry farm is a different thing. So I, whenever we uh, get there, I will explain the difference between the poultry farm and the pig farm. In between those, like which one can bring you money, like profit faster. So thank you guys for watching these videos. And uh, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to our video, our channel, and then like the video and share it. And uh, we see you guys in another video. Thank you.